What's up guys, signing off for 2018. What's up guys, just got done uh, getting my belly full, some avocado and uh, tortillas and that, it's like a filet, a center filet like this, and I got y'all, um, from Kroger wrapped in bacon, really good, join a weekend warrior there, watching some uh, light bright video on, uh, on YouTube. Just wanted to uh, do a 2018 closeout. I don't know if you guys can see a pool, a pool collapse. It had about six inches of water in it. And this uh, windstorm came through the other day and uh, just tore it to pieces. So we got old Chloe right here watching. What is it, girl? What is it? She is a uh, tortilla eating machine. So I brought me th three tortillas out here. I, uh, I got one of them. She had to share them with Paris there. So, uh, yeah, so really this video, I just wanted to, uh, I'll let you guys watch the dogs. Just wanted to thank everyone for uh, all the support and all the uh, the comments and everything for uh, 2018. 2019 hopefully will be even a better year than 2018. And 2018 was good. Saw the uh, subscriber count uh, peak over 100, which is, uh, which is awesome, especially for the, uh, the frequency that I put out the videos. Um, that is the goal for 2019 is to increase the frequency and you know hopefully one one video every uh, couple of weeks. I've got a lot of gear that I can review that uh, maybe you guys have seen in you know my EDC videos, but I haven't done like an in-depth actual review of the uh, the product. So maybe we'll do that for 2019. I've uh, reached out to some friends. Um, about doing a kind of a friends EDC series. So we'll do maybe like a tailgate in the back of the Jeep or something of what they carry uh, on a daily basis. Some friends have said they're willing to do it. Some aren't so comfortable with the uh, idea of being on camera. So maybe they jot down what they do and they give it to me and I'll, uh, I'll go through and review it. But it, uh, still in the works, just, uh, just uh, thinking of ideas. So if you guys know of anything you know you guys have some ideas or you uh you know of stuff you'd like to see for 2019 uh post them down there down below in the uh the comments so i've got a couple of videos that i'm, I'm in the process of editing right now uh, an update to the uh hitch and timber so that hopefully will be uh posted tonight sometime which today is christmas eve eve so uh Try to get that posted tonight. The gyro on the camera, which hopefully it's working now for the iPhone, uh, is sideways, so it didn't really orientate the video like I would have liked it to. But uh, it's still uh, still viewable, so it's all good. We'll uh, we'll roll with it, and then hope the other videos that I shot that night, which is a review of a, the SOG multi tool, uh, I think the reactor is what it's called. Um, hopefully the gyro worked better on that one, and uh, it's a uh, it's better but uh, hopefully those will get posted tonight uh, I'm trying to think of what else we can do for 2019 and I really I don't know the Jeep uh, not planning on I'm not planning on lifting it um, but if you know there's I still need an antenna replacement um, I still need floor mats for the back of it uh, I need a gas cap the, the cover and uh, trying to and off the top of my head, that's it. And that's all aesthetic stuff, nothing performance-wise. Uh, I just don't, at this point, I don't know if I'm gonna do anything or not. I'm really happy with the uh, the, the turbo four-cylinder. So I don't know what, if any, you know, modifications come from it. What I would like to do, I watched a video today where they put 35s on the, the 2.0 tur turbo, and it, it's extreme terrain video, actually, and it, uh, Nah, was it? It may not have been extreme terrain. I may be lying to you, but uh, anyway, they put them on and it, it ran on fine. So maybe that ends up being a goal for uh, 
the, the JL is to add 35s. It won't be in 2019. That I can 110% guarantee. But uh, it was nice to, to see that they could uh, they could put 35s on a on a JL stock and uh, and run them without well I say without problems minimal problems. It was a Rubicon, so it had the uh, the fender flares, and that may be something to look into is getting the. Uh, you know, the Jeep already has the Rubicon suspension on it. Maybe looking into getting a set of the flares from uh, the Rubicon, uh, a Rubicon. I'm sure as the JLs become more, you know, prevalent, people start buying them and model them, I'll be able to find a, a set of them, um, you know, used or whatever that I can slap on. I know new, I, which was that same video, new they ran about 700 and something dollars. And, uh, yeah, that's a really good looking JL, not uh, not the guys. But his videos are cool too, I don't remember his name, but uh, I ran across his channel the other day, it was pretty funny. He did a good job on things like JL owners here or things JL owners say or something. It was really, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, it was an entertaining video. But anyway, if I can get a set of uh, those, and I, I, you know, honestly, I like the Rubicon bumper as well. So as people start modding them, hopefully, you know, on forums or whatever, I can find some uh, parts from the Rubicon to slap on it. I really, I want to stay as close to stock as possible on, uh, on this Jeep, at least for now. Uh, and then we'll, we'll see what happens in the future. But, uh, so that's kind of where I'm at for 2018, uh, headed into 2019. Hope you guys have all got your uh, Christmas shopping done. If not, it's the 23rd, so guys have one more one more day so uh, I think the reason most people watch light bright videos so the comments on these videos are hilarious very you I'm sure very inappropriate comments for a lot of them but uh funny nonetheless so um, I think that's it uh, 2019 coming uh, coming fast we'll uh, work on getting the uh, subscribers up. And the way we're going to do that is try to get more content out quicker. And actually, I had placed a post congratulating, I want to say Frankie Duty. If I messed up the name, I, I apologize. I will try to link the channel down below, but he's got a, he's got a really good channel. He just uh, <clears throat> surpassed the uh, 1,000 subscriber uh, milestone there. So uh, that, that's awesome. Congrats to him. Thumbs up. But that's what he was, uh, he replied back to my comment telling me, hey, you know, it's the output of videos that helps get the, uh, the uh, subscriber count up. And as you guys know, which I don't really care about the monetization, but the thousand subscribers is when you can get monetized. All my videos were demonetized when YouTube uh, changed their rules on that, which is cool. I don't really care about that. Uh, where it does affect me, I have reached out to some companies on a, hey, you know, I'll send the product back. I don't really care. Do you want to send the product to me? Let me do a video on it, review it, post it on YouTube. And two, one response I got was we don't do that. And then two other ones were we do that, but you need to be over a, a thousand subscribers. So once you hit that milestone, hit us back, we'll work something out, um, <clears throat> which would be awesome. So that's the, and I don't know if it'll happen in 2019 a year. That seems like a lot, but, uh, Really want to get that subscription count up to a thousand. That way we can reach out to some companies and hopefully start uh, start getting some uh, some products sent out that we can review and send it back. Right now it's me just the stuff I buy that I like uh, and plan on keeping. I'll buy it, review it, and use it or whatever. But this it would be nice to be able to get stuff sent out that maybe I wouldn't normally buy or I wouldn't normally use. And then if I mean. If need be, I can send it back. That that part's not really a big deal. So I have enough gear that uh, my EDC is pretty set. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. I hope all you guys have a Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment down below.